Matt Sedera back with another video. Today on the channel, we've got a very special guest. We have Andrew here with Otter Creek Labs. I'm going to be showing off the length of the 9mm suppressor. Stay tuned for this one. Alright guys, we're back. Once again today, what we're going to be doing here with Andrew and Otter Creek Labs is we're going to be going through a little bit of their uh, suppressor line. We're going to be focusing mainly today on the lithium and the versatility of it as a 9mm suppressor, but not only a 9mm, but multiple different calibers all together. Right here, what we're going to be shooting right now is the FN509 with a uh, lithium with a booster adapter on it as well. And uh, we're going to be doing a few shots on the actual steel and a few in the dirt just to show you how well the suppressor actually works. Are you good with it? Yeah. Let's see here what we got. Ah, that's quiet. <laughs> there we go. As you can see as well, 100% reliability, no fares at all. Pretty nice. I like it. This is the uh, Palmetto State uh, AKV 9mm. CMMG Banshee. I love the recoil and pulse of it and integrally expressed. I mean, for a room clearing gun, that'd be hard to beat. You go in over the bub or come straight out. And that, yeah, I like that would be. I like the Banshee because they can still take regular AR handguards. Oh, yeah. So all I did was uh, swap the factory handguard out for the Midwest. That's uh, it's called the Midwest SP. It's yes. made specifically to have a suppressor ran down the side. I also like the integrally expressed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is that is nice. What's the length on the barrel on that one? It's really short. I think it's like four and a half inches. I see. Yeah, that's, that's sweet. That's really sweet. I like that gun a lot. All right, guys, as I said a minute ago, this will be the last one that we'll be doing in the 9mm category. These are uh, subsonic 9mm rounds. We'll go ahead and open up a few, just like we did in the intro, and just shoot a little bit. We'll take it a little bit easy, though, in the semi-automatic for now. Let's take a few into the dirt to actually hear the sound of the suppressor. Yeah, that's, that's, that's quiet. That is really quiet. Let's open up a little full auto right into the window. Right On top right. Mm -hmm. that is, uh, that's impressive. All right, guys, what you see that we're doing right now, I'm loading up the last mag that we're going to be shooting a 9mm for the MP5. But over here we have the 300 Blackout uh, bolt gun, and this is going to be mainly showing the versatility of the lithium can. So, like you've seen right now, we've shot nothing but 9mm through it, but now we're getting ready to kick it up to actual rifle rounds. Let's see what it does. 
All right, guys, let's check out the 300 Blackout boat run. Seems to be dead on. That is uh that is killer. Let's take one more in the head. We're empty. God, that is uh that is fun right there. Not used to the what is it? There we go. So it's just like an AR, huh? It is. Take the AR Max. Wow. <laughs> um, the, I love the, so the, the Ruger, it's the Ruger American. Yes. They make it in 300 blackout, 556, and 76239. And it just wow. takes regular AR mags. I, I like it. See for a second there, I thought it was a single segment. No, it is a, it is regular mag. Wow, yeah. that is uh, that is that is impressive. Man, that that, uh, that can you you can't hear nothing out of it, can you? Oh yeah. All right, so this is on uh, 556. The lithium is also rated for a uh, 16 inch barrel 556. Everybody has a uh, 16 inch JR. Check her out. So as you can see, I've actually not even got any ears in right now, and that's still, it ain't, my ears ain't even ringing, and I'm about half deaf in my left ear. Let's go ahead and take a few more on the steel. Oh, that's, that's sweet. God. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fun right there. So even even with semi-automatic, it, it doesn't hurt it at all, does it? No, no. Um, that's that's where the barrel length restriction comes in. Yeah. Um, you know, it is a nine millimeter can, but we were able to make it work on five five six as long as your barrel is sixteen inches. Okay, and, so uh, even the twenty inch mm -hmm. M sixteen A four was Yep. Work. Um, and it's also rated for three oh eight. We don't have a three oh eight with us out here today. Um, the barrel restriction for it on three oh eight is twenty inches. Twenty inches. Okay. So with that barrel restriction, what's the reasoning behind that? Just because of like pressure. Pressure. Okay. Yeah. So, as long as I'm sitting here shooting some automatic, we're good to go and have the 16 inch barrel. Mm -hmm. yep. Nice. That is a, that's very, very interesting. So, here we have the Taurus uh, TX22. This is one of the newer uh, 22s on the market. And from what I've heard, it's actually one of the best. Uh, if you've been watching the channel anytime recently, for some reason, every time I get a 22 pistol in my hand, uh, something goes wrong with it from the Glock 44 to the uh, 6 hour P322. So let's go ahead and check out this one and uh, see how it's going to go. Wow. <laughs> now I could have some fun with this thing. Well, I had a figure to eject. Wow, you can't even. Can't even hear that thing go off. It's a little bit more on steel. Wow. What do you think about it? I love it. I actually have two of these guns. I'm a big fan of them. Empty. Yeah, I might have shot a little bit more than uh, <laughs> than you got to shot, uh, shoot right then, but now that's uh, that's some fun. I mean, even just overall the look of it, I love the James Bond look. I mean, it, it's just, I don't know. It's, overall though, man, even just having something that you can use for nine millimeter, like on what my PCCs are in the house, then if you want to have fun and throw it on the 22, it always surprises people how quiet it is on the 22. Oh yeah, I mean, like I got sitting at the end, I shot into the gravel a little bit or into the dirt, can't even hear the thing go off. And even the other bores, nine millimeter size bore, still works perfect. And this thing does everything, down it? Yeah. So this is a uh, CZ Scorpion with a 16 inch barrel. This is the only nine millimeter we have out here today with a uh, full 16 inch barrel on it. Hmm. Let's 
Let's try her out there. That's that's silent as well. Very, very nice. I can remember how I used to work the one I had. It's a bolt drop. And well there we are. Just like an AK. That is very, very nice. So what is the overall length of this now that you have the 16 inch barrel and how long is the length of Six inches. Six inches. So we have pretty much a M14, or not M14, but M16A4 with this one. I have this 20 inch barrel on it pretty much. Um, <clears throat> so whenever you're actually running the 16 inch barrel with subsonics, uh, what's the velocity difference? Is, or does it always say subsonics? It'll, it'll stay, if you, as long as you're shooting nine millimeter subs, okay. like we're shooting today, Yeah. Um, most ammo companies, whenever they make subs, they make it to stay subsonic out of a 16 inch barrel. So they okay. know it's subsonic out of all barrels. Wow. Um, as far as the velocity difference between the 16 and something like a four though, I'm not sure, I haven't chronographed it. Right. But as you can tell right then, it was quiet as any other gun we've shot today. So works great with that one as well. guys now that we're done shooting today we're going to be doing a little bit more of the background of otter creek lab and learn a little bit more about the specifications of the lithium suppressor so andrew take over so the uh the lithium is six inches long and it's uh made out of tubeless titanium and it's cnc welded which uh keeps it really light it's uh 5.7 ounces without the uh mount on it and you can change the that, that's what we were showing today is the versatility of it um you can screw this mount off the back and it can mount on anything. So a pistol, um, a 5.56, a 9mm rifle, a 22. Um, there's, there's really no limit to what you can mount it on and what mounting systems you can use. Um, we make other products too, um, you know, dedicated 5.56 suppressors, uh, dedicated 308 long range suppressors. Um, but for, for this audience and for the for the person who's just wanting to own one suppressor, I think the lithium is probably the, the best bet. See, that's what I've seen as well today because I'm kind of in that same boat right now. Uh, I don't personally own any suppressors, and this is actually the first video I've ever had on my channel with any suppressors. And, you know, I've been wanting to dive a little bit more into it. I've got a real good buddy that just bought uh, one suppressor about a bunch of SBRs and I feel like I'm fixing to dive into it myself but this right here would be one that I would love to pick up just because like you said today we shot nine millimeter through it sounded great we shot 22 through it sounded great shot 223 556 sounded great 300 blackout sounded amazing and plus well, you know you can shoot 308 through it as well which is even even better because that covers every single gun in my arsenal that I have and like for the mounting uh, how much is it for the different uh, mount systems that you all offer um, it really depends so it comes comes in the box with the half inch 28 direct thread mount. Okay, so and like it, for the MP5s? And, um, yeah, yeah. For, for any, so like this, this has a half inch 28 direct thread okay. and uh, so does this one, the 5.56. Five, okay. So um, it comes straight out of the box with the mount that you need to mount it on a 9mm rifle or a 5.56 five, rifle and it also comes in the box with the tool you need to change that mount out. Um, and then, as far as the different mounting systems you can get, it, it really pricing really depends. So, like this right here, the booster to run yeah. on the nine millimeter, I think they're about eighty bucks. Okay. Um, I think th the three lugs to run on uh, MP5s and things like that, I think they're about a hundred. Okay. Um, so uh, you 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 might dump some more money into mounts. Right. Um, but but uh, you're saving so much money altogether because you're just getting one suppressor as long yeah. as you just you know wanted one suppressor. And like I was saying, that's one of the great things about this one here that even we tried out today and it just was so amazing. Uh, so how much do these right here run? The MSRP on them is 850. 850. Um, you'll see them street price a little bit less. You'll usually see them street price around 750, 775 okay. in that range. All right, so where, if I wanted to get one of these today, who can I go through or how do I get my hands on one? Uh, so if you're a regular, uh, just regular customer looking to right. buy one, um, we have a lot of online dealers. Okay. Um, so you could just Google Otter Creek Labs Lithium 9, uh, find it in stock on one of our online dealers, okay. and um, you would order it, and then it would ship from that, uh, from the online dealer to your gun store for you to go pick up and do the paperwork on. Um, it's, it's just like buying a gun online. Really? Um, just go straight to your gun store. Um, and then if you're a gun shop and you're looking to carry our product, uh, our distributor is Alan 
Allen Arms Tactical. And so you can go, um, kind of like RSR, you go on Allen Arms Tactical and you can order stock for your store. Um, if you're interested in doing that, you can send us an email to uh, info at ottercreeklabs.com and we'll send you the registration link and uh, that kind of stuff you need to get the product in your store. Okay, well, that, I mean, that sounds great, guys. I mean, that's about really all the questions I would have about even purchasing this because, uh, as you all have seen, Otter Creek is coming up. I mean, I'm just not saying because he's here, but I mean, I I heard about them a while back, and to me, they make one of, if not the best, suppressors on the market right now, especially for you know uh, sound quality and all that, and how light it does sound. I mean, you know what the actual what's the word I'm looking for? Um, tone. Yeah, the tone of it and all that. I mean, even today, we've got some really good camera quality here today and some audio, and you'll be able to hear exactly what we heard today because we've already re-rolled a bunch of the stuff that we've shot, and it really does sound amazing to your ear. And, uh, I mean, we have, we, I didn't even have to put in any uh, ear, hearing protection on anything, especially not even the 5.56. It was a little bit loud just because there were uh, not subsonic ammunition, but now, even without no hearing protection, my ears are not even ringing at all, and uh, that's just something I love to see, and that's like I was saying, just reverbing a little bit, is that uh, if I just want one suppressor that can do everything and do everything, you know, very, very well, this right here seems to me be like a hands down, no brainer type of deal. I mean, yeah. Like you said about the supersonic rifle rounds, so the, uh, the sound <clears throat> that the bullet makes when it breaks the sound barrier, the supersonic crack, um, and you'll get that with things like 556, 308, and then there's also, you know, supersonic and subsonic 9mm. Um, there's no way to get around that. That's just that's just physics. Um, it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter what you did. There's no way to get away from the supersonic crack when you're using things like 556. Five, but when you use subsonic ammo on things like nine millimeter and 300 blackout, yes, it's it's very very quiet. And yeah. then and then still even even with supersonic on 556, five, it's still fairly comfortable to shoot. Without, oh yeah, without any protection. Have you ever shot of these in, in a house or anything or like an enclosed? Uh, I've, I've done some, I've done a lot of subsonic house shooting. Okay. Um, we shoot we shoot USPSA and uh, some three gun stuff. Yeah. And there's there's sometimes some uh, some houses some shoot houses and things like that. Okay. Because see that's one of the biggest reasons why I want a suppressor for us for like right now what I'm running for house defense gun is a nine millimeter because I've got my wife in the house women got children and. Um, you know, you fire off a 5.56 five, in a house and you're going to be deaf and you're never going to hear again, which, I mean, you know, you probably have your life still, but at the same time, I want to have my hearing, and uh, that's one of the big reasons I've always wanted a suppressor for is just so I can have a few different guns for, you know, house defense, and even then, out here, there's plenty of times that I forgot hearing protection, I got to, well, God, I got to run back to the house and get it. If I've got one of these, I can throw on it all day and shoot and not have a single problem one. Hunting, but, hunting's a big thing, too. Yeah. Um, it's it's legal in um, almost every state now to hunt with a suppressor. I know there's still some states where it's uh, illegal to hunt with a suppressor, so you'd have to look up your state laws on that. Um, but I know like here in Kentucky where we are, for example, it's legal to hunt with a suppressor. And um, that's good, especially if you only need to take one or two shots out in the woods or something and you don't want to have to mess with putting your hearing protection on before you take the shot or right. have to worry about leaving your hearing protection on and not being able to hear your surroundings and things like that. Having a suppressor to, to hunt with is, is great. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just safety altogether. I mean, I, that's why I can't believe these things are still even on the NFA for because, I mean, they don't sound like they do in John Wick. It'd be cool if they did. Now, the 22 didn't, to be honest yeah. with you, but now rest of them, you can still hear, uh, you know, the actual gun going off and everything like that. It's not like what it's on, like I said, on John Wick, but these things, they're, they're just amazing. And it, this has really changed my, uh, this has changed my thoughts really on owning one. I mean, now after I shot these today, I'm, I'm going to I want one myself and you'll probably see me one before too long. But kind of like we talked about some of the, <clears throat> what I, I call it FUD lore. Yeah. Um, the misconceptions around some of the laws about suppressors, um, uh, it, it seems to be a very common misconception that when you buy a suppressor, you give up your rights and they're allowed to come search your house at any time. Um, I really don't know where that got started, but that's um, not true at all. When you when you buy a suppressor, you're not giving up any rights. They can't come search your house. Um, actually, a regular police officer, say you're out at the range shooting, um, a regular police officer is not even allowed to ask you for your tax stamp. Right. They're not allowed to ask you to see it. Um, the only person, the only scenario in which you can be asked to present your paperwork is if you're at a public range and a federal officer is there and they can ask to see your paperwork. Um, but they're not allowed to come in your house. They're not allowed to search your house. Um, they're not allowed to confiscate it from you at a traffic stop. Um, 
the, the, the misconception on that alone is, is something that I definitely wanted to wanted to touch on, something that seems to scare a lot of people, but it's uh, it's just not true. Because, see, I didn't even know any of that myself. And also, as well, can you take these out of your home state if you want to? You can. Um, that, that causes some confusion, too. So um, SBRs, you're not allowed to cross state lines with an SBR, uh, but suppressors do not fall under that law. You're allowed to travel with a suppressor to any state where suppressors are legal. I think right now they're they're legal in like 40, 40 states or something like that. And um, yeah, as long as you're not going to a state where suppressors are illegal, you're allowed to go over state lines with it. You know, we um, we shoot competitions in uh, Tennessee a lot. We shoot competitions in Alabama a lot, and it's it's no big deal. You just drive them on down there. See, that's killer to know as well because that was another FUD lore misconception I had. You all know I love guns, and I've just not really dealt much into the suppressors. But, you know, you hear all the stuff online about all the, oh, well, if you you buy a suppressor, you're giving up your rights and this, that, and the other. And, you know, you get pulled over with it, and you're automatically in trouble even if you've got your tax stamp because now they're going to be questioning all that other stuff. That's BS, as you can already tell. I mean, he knows a lot more about it than I do. But at the same time being... I mean, they're in the state of Kentucky. There's not even any, any state laws on suppressors. If, mm-hmm. See, I, I mean, I knew that personally speaking, but, you know, a lot of people don't even know that. But uh, overall, though, guys, this this was a very, very interesting time to, you know, video and shoot, and I've really enjoyed you all being here today. And once again, thank you for coming on the range and showing off your product because I know my viewers will love this just as much as I had fun with it today. Yeah, it's been a blast. It's cool um, It's cool that you're not far away. You know, yeah. we're, we're both Kentucky boys. We're, our shop's only about... 30 minutes from here yeah um, that's if you're on the speed limit <laughs> yeah yeah so it, it's it's cool so you know otter creek um how it kind of got started is i'm the owner and um what's kind of unique about us is not only am i the owner um me and john um which is uh the other owner my business partner he couldn't be here today uh, me and him personally make all this stuff so we're, we're one of the only companies who were the owners but we also make everything you know um, our names are going on it. We we want to be sure that what's going out the door, we're we're proud of it. Yeah. Um, and that's why we're a smaller. We're, we are a smaller production shop. You know, some some bigger suppressor companies um, sell twenty thousand suppressors a year. Um, we sell about four thousand a year, and that's that's by choice. We yeah. we want to stay small. We want to stay small production so that we can keep really really strict uh, quality control tolerances. Um, so uh, uh, kind of how we approach things is. So John, a, a little history on us. John, uh, he worked for the uh, uh, Naval War Naval Warfare Center um, robotics. He designed a lot of robotics and uh, things like that for the Naval Warfare Center. Um, I, I've been a factory worker my whole life. I worked um, for Toyota um, f- for a long time and a couple other factories. So I'm just a you know I'm just a regular dude. And so when when we make something, that's that's where we're coming from when we make things. You know, we're not we're not some out of touch billionaire making making things that people don't want. When I make something, I'm like, all right, you know, just even just three years ago, I've, I was able to quit my job uh, at Toyota a little over a year ago. Um, for a long time, we uh, Otter Creek was a side business. We would we would work our regular jobs, and then when we got off work or on the weekends, we would work on Otter Creek stuff. Um, but about a year ago, it took off enough to where we were able to quit our jobs. Um, but but still, even today, I design from the perspective of, you know, if I was still working my factory job and I had I had my family, would I be able to afford this? Is this something that's worth spending my money on? You know, we 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 pride ourselves in making stuff for the regular working guy because right. that's what we've been our whole life. You know, we we weren't born with a silver spoon in our mouth or anything like that. We've we've had to work for it. We're and we're making we're making stuff for the regular working guy. And not only that, like, you know, we're not, you guys are just not making it for the regular working guy. You're making some of, if not the best suppressors on the market right now. And I'm just not saying that. I mean, you can look at schematics across the board, and these are doing some unbelievable things with what's yeah, going Pew, on. Uh, Pew Science is a great source for yeah. uh, suppressor data. Um, so Pew Science is a third party testing service. Uh, something you'll notice, and that, that's actually why we don't put out any testing data on our own suppressors. Um, so if you go look at other companies putting out testing data on their suppressors, they win every test. Yes. You know, if you if you ask ten different suppressor companies who makes the best suppressor, all ten of them are going to say them. Right. Um, and so to me, my word, even my, even my word, means less than nothing when it when it right. comes to um, quantifying the performance of our product. So we use third party testing. They are they are unbiased. Um, 
third party testing test suppressors for everybody. And right now we're currently ranked number one on 556 for our polonium. Um, so in third party testing, we do extremely well. And see, that's, that's always great to hear, what, especially whenever you ain't got nobody skewed or, like you're saying, biased that's reviewing your products. And I mean, just, you know, me coming from the normal person, this is something that I can afford. And you all know I've, I've had expensive guns over the, every now and then, but you know, most of the time I've got to end up selling them off just to get the next one on the channel. But this is something like he was saying that a regular man that working nine to five, you know, at a halfway decent paying job can buy one of these and have it at the house and, you know, not have to worry about paying, you know, 1500 or $2,000 for a real expensive suppressor. And, you know, this is probably one of, if not the best, for you know value versus what the product you're getting. Because, like I was saying, one of the best on the market, if not the best on the market, and then at a very, very reasonable price as well. Yep. And then our um, our polonium, which is our uh, which is our dedicated uh, five five six suppressor made for ARs. Um, I didn't bring one out today. I should have. But um, that is actually uh, our most affordable product. That's the one that's ranked number one in third party testing right now. It only costs five hundred dollars. Wow. Um, so with the lithium, a lot of what you're paying for, that $500 versus $700, a lot of what you're paying for is the versatility that comes right. along with it. But if you wanted a suppressor to only run on your 5.56 ARs, you're only looking to spend about $500. See, that's, that's killer. I mean, that's, that's something anybody can afford that wants one of these because, you know, you still got to do the $200 tax stamp, correct? Yep. Yep. So, I mean, you got to add $200 onto it, but even then, guys, that's... Anybody can afford one of them more than, you know, that would be, that would like to get into this uh, line of firearms, I guess you would say. Yeah, another, another misconception about the tax stamp, this is a question I get a lot. Uh, people ask if you have to pay it yearly. But the uh, the $200 tax stamp that you have to pay, you only have to pay it when you buy the suppressor, and that $200 tax stamp applies for the rest of your life. Okay. Um, so you don't have to pay it yearly. It's just that two hundred dollars upfront cost. Um, if you go, there's different ways to do it. It gets it gets a little confusing. You can uh, file it as an individual or file it as a trust. Um, if you file it as an individual, you pay the two hundred dollars, and then whenever you die, um, I believe don't don't quote me on this. You'd have to Google it. I believe it goes to your next of kin. Um, your, whoever your surviving family member is, and they get the option whether they want to surrender it and uh, destroy it or repay that $200, and then it's good for the rest of their life. Wow. Um, whereas if you file with the trust, it just goes straight to them. Okay. Um, I prefer to file as an individual. It's a little bit easier that way. Okay. Well, so that's, see, I didn't even know anything about that either. Some very, very great information here today. Like I was saying, is there anything else that you'd like to cover while we're sitting here? No, I think that's it. Um, we're just we're just good old boys. We're just regular. Yep. We're just regular dudes who like to shoot guns. And uh, I thought it was really cool that that you were only thirty minutes from us, so we couldn't pass up the opportunity to come out and shoot a little bit. And um, I definitely want to bring out some uh, some other guns sometime. We'll shoot some more videos on uh, even un not suppressor related things. Oh yeah, I mean that and that sounds great. And we're going to be planning on doing this for a uh, long ways to come as well. Because like I said, we've had some great fun here today, and hopefully as well. Some of you all that didn't even know about Otter Creek Labs, now that you've uh, you've seen this video, if you'd like to pick one up, like he was saying earlier, reach out to what was it? Allen Arms Tactical. Allen Arms Tactical. If, if you're a gun store looking to carry our product, um, you can register at uh, Allen Arms Tactical. Um, or you can uh, reach out to us at info at ottercreeklabs.com and we'll uh, set you up with a registration link. All right, great. And guys, if this is something that you like, make sure you comment in the comment section below and let me know. I plan on doing a lot more videos, plan on hopefully getting, you know, uh, uh, what is it, potassium? Polonium. Or polonium, yeah. yes. Uh, Close enough. Yeah, yeah, something like <laughs> that. Uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully be getting one of them for too long and uh, shooting it on the uh, channel and reviewing it for uh, them as well. And guys, I mean, just some very interesting stuff. And you know, the one thing I love about more than anything, it has uh, London, Kentucky right on the side of it. So that hits home with me. But Andrew, I sure do appreciate you coming today yes, once again and thank you all for uh for supplying the ammunition and supplying the suppressors today to shoot i mean i've had an absolute ball and i hope you all have a ball watching this as well but guys without further ado thank you all for viewing as always like and subscribe for more gun reviews i'll see y'all in the next video